Hey guys, this is Enter the Stars, and thank you to the subscriber that revealed the truth about the number 73. This is a full disclosure channel, and any truth that we find that becomes self-evident, we will share with you guys. Now, we saw the 73 pattern being repeated over and over again. It was in the X-Men movie, 1973 was the setting. We saw it in this new pilot. And we've seen it going back. If you look back, you will see the number 73 over and over again. Now, of course, we understand that I was born in 1973. The only reason why I think that is important is because it is a testimony to the revelation of truth. And for some reason, my life has been overlaid with specific synchronicity to be able to call these things out and teach everyone the truth about salvation and so here I am and I will pick up my cross and I will walk with Jesus in my search for truth and help anyone that I can to understand what we're dealing with so the number 73 just so happens to be the number of creation this is the wheel and there are only certain numbers that can exist in a star pattern 73 and 37 are two of those numbers. So what is the creation holograph? This is pretty amazing you guys. And if this is my destiny, I embrace it 100%. Now this website goes on to explain the significance of this number. The first verse of the Holy Bible is the foundation of the creation holograph which is what we just said about the number 73. Its depth knows no limit. Its everlasting perfection glorifies the Lord God beyond measure. The text consists of seven words and 28 letters. The center of these seven words, we see the Aleph Tav. This is the sign and seal of the Lord God Almighty upon which his entire world is built. The number of letters relate to the number of words by being the seventh triangular number. The earth and the heavens God created in the beginning is what they're referring to, just stated here. The sum of the entire verse is the 73rd triangular number. The prime numbers 37 and 73 are geometrically integrated. They form the fourth term in the sequence of hexagon star pairs. Note the numbers 7, 13, 19, 37, and 73 are all primes. They are the building blocks of the biblical holographs. Just as the primes are the building blocks of the integers, the interplay of these numbers, their geometric significance, and their integration with Genesis 1-1 is discussed at length. Hexacon star pairs are closely related to triangular numbers. Their product is always a triangle, and they can be symmetrically generated from a pair of triangles. Now when you look at the number 73 in Wikipedia, there are a lot of other amazing synchronicities with this specific number. It is the star number, and it explains it further here in Wikipedia. It is a number that can form a hexagram, a six-pointed star. Here they show the 13 does that, the 73 and the 37 do it as well. Only certain numbers can do this. Now many of you ask, wow, that's a hexagram. That's everything we've been talking about. These numbers follow intent. If your intent is evil, you will be evil. If your intent is good, you will be good. God created these numbers. He created these shapes. It is a battle. It is a spiritual battle between principalities. This is the good side. We will move forward and expose truth. And we are starting to understand the fabric of this universe and how Satan and the devil uses these numbers to try to keep us under control. And once you understand these things, they have no power over you. And it is the truth in the last days that Jesus talked about that would be revealed. Now, there are some other amazing synchronicities with this number. Also, it says here, it is the eighth twin prime. So there's our eight again. It also has some pretty 
amazing characteristics that it is an M impure, meaning that the reverse of 73, that is 37, is also a prime number. Interestingly, 73 is also the 21st prime number, while 37 is the 12th prime number. So do you see the re reversal of these integers, 12 and 21? It's the as above, so below. 73 is the only prime repugnant in base 8. So there's our 8 again. You guys starting to see the patterns here? So it's 111 to the 8th in English. It is the smallest integer with 12 letters in its spelled out name. There are lots of extremes with the number 73. It was also the number of seconds it took for the Space Shuttle Challenger shuttle to explode after launch. It is the length of the Arecibo message sent to space in search for extraterrestrial intelligence. And if you guys look at one of the very first videos that I did, it was on a crop circle. And we basically foreshadowed that there would be a crop circle on a certain date. And that crop circle did appear on that date. It's one of the very first revelations that I had of the Holy Spirit. So it makes no mistake that the Arecibo message would be linked back to the number 73. In fact, the foreshadowing that I did was based off of the Arecibo message. If you remember, it was the alien holding the CD. In amateur radio and other Morse code users, they commonly use the number 73 as a 92 code abbreviation for best regards. It was also an amateur radio magazine. The name of the magazine was 73 from 1960 to 2003. It was also the name of a 1980s children television program in the UK. It ran from 1982 to 1988. There's our 88 again. And of course, Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory calls out the number 73 as the 21st prime number. It's the mirror 37 is the 12th. We just mentioned that above. So there is some significance to this number. Um, as far as our journey here, um, this is pretty interesting to me. More interesting than some of the things that we've covered in the past because I'm a strong believer that our path is dictated by our love of God and our search for truth. And it seems that we're finding some numbers in my particular history that seem to have steered us in a certain direction. And that is interesting. On the same token, everything goes back to intent. And God loves each and every one of us and gives us a chance of salvation. We have to just choose what our intent will be in this world. And we know people by their fruit, what it is they've done with their life. Anyway, I hope this helps to shed some light on this, you guys. Um, one last note here, it says the rhythmic clapping at sporting events that precedes Let's Go is Morse code for 73. Okay, didn't know that. Take care and be safe you guys.